Hello everyone, welcome to Open Plan Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, today's session, we are going to answer a question how to add a new pick list in standard uh, preferences. So, uh, we have uh, our standard preferences dialog uh, which are different for piping, equipment, HVAC, and raceways. But I guess uh, the question is that a user wants to add another uh, property here and it, it, uh, the values in that property needs to come in the form of a pick list or a drop down box where they can select a particular value and then whenever they do any operation or placement those values can be applied to uh, all the components. Let's zoom into open plan uh, modeler window now. So standard preferences can be defined for different categories or different classes as we switch different uh, tabs between piping, equipment, HVAC and uh, uh, other verticals, notice that the layout of the standard preferences dialog uh, changes. So this is because that for each uh, type of component or the component class, uh, different uh, values have been set up uh, based on the uh, default uh, behavior and the general requirements of uh, either the piping components or, uh, or equipments. So typically uh, for equipments, we are not really concerned about the specification, um, but they are mostly used for nozzles, but for piping, um, a component specification is the uh, is, is one of the main 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 things. Uh, so a lot of uh, the uh, the parameters are derived from specification selection. So based on what you are selecting here, uh, the nominal diameter list gets populated uh, based on uh, you know uh, based on what what we have in this uh, specification. So let's see uh, how we can add uh, more properties in here and uh, uh, most of these customizations can be done through uh, schemas. Uh, in our Open Plan Project Administrator tool, uh, we have a utility that helps us uh, do this in a more uh, intuitive uh, fashion. Let me open up uh, Open Plan Project Administrator. Okay, so I'll select uh, the project that we were working with and go to my uh, settings tab. Uh, in the settings tab, we have uh, different utilities. Um, so I'll select uh, the one uh, called standard preferences. It should opens up this uh, user interface, uh, which sort of mimics uh, what we have in the uh, standard preferences. So uh, let's select the piping component because in our modeler window, we have standard preferences for piping component uh, selected here. Uh, as you can see, uh, the um, uh, some of the properties defined here, specification, nominal diameter, insulation thickness, state and insulation are uh, what we see uh, here. The next column we have is box order. So this box order basically specifies the order of uh, the um, the components that they will how they will show up uh, in 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 the component box and or in the in the group. So the group name here we have is component, and as we can see, we have the uh, component uh, group here. The first section of the standard preferences is called plant associated items, and um, right now it's associated with pipeline. So depending upon what associations you do define for piping components or equipments, they automatically show up in standard preferences uh, and. Um, you can add more properties either in the component section or in any new section uh, that you uh, create. Uh, let's just first look at uh, some of the UI options here and then we'll add new new properties. After box order, we have a column called input method. Now, in order to define a new property, how to uh, uh, you know add values or define the behavior of what is displayed uh, in the value column is uh, uh, controlled by uh, different input methods. So if I do a drop down here, I can see that I have input method options as values, keying, query, load instances, uh, lookup. Uh, and internal. So this basically defines how the user will input values uh, for the property in the standard preferences uh, dialog. 
uh, the values input method allows you to enter available values comma separated so you can add a bunch of values uh, comma separated here in the input method arguments uh, if the if the input method is selected as values and these values will sh show up uh, in this dialog as a as, as a drop down you can also for showing drop down list use an input method as lookup and lookup basically uh, like here for instance for both for state and solution lookup is defined as an input method and it points to uh, a lookup value map class which is defined in the schema so for component state it points to component state value map if i open up the schema and bring it here and look for this uh, value map class so this is our value map class and go to component state value map i can see that we have three properties defined in this component state value map so design for demolition on hold and i when i come here and expand my component state drop down i can see design for demolition on hold here as well so so this is another way to point uh, an input method to a particular lookup table in the schema and fetch values uh, from there. The other me input method is key in. Uh, the key in basically provides a text box in standard preferences dialog, allowing you to manually key in the value uh, for the uh, property. Uh, query and load instances are an, another method. Query is basically a method that will query the current spec and list uh, all of the unique values for a property in a, in a drop down list. It has a specific syntax, and, uh, and you can look at the help file to get more details about it as well. Again, in the load instances method, you can query the current DGN for class instances as you know you define in the arguments. So the next column is input method arguments for um, input methods uh, such as values, lookup, query, the arguments define how those input methods uh, populate the standard pre preferences fields and then uh, you know we already covered the uh, group name here. Uh, the last column uh, which we have is um, query spec which means that uh, for this particular uh, field do we need to query the current spec this plus button basically adds a property uh, for for this, this particular class that we have selected here and adding uh, and using this option you can add a new class for standard preferences so uh, you can define a totally um, a new standard preferences section for any specific component or equipment type uh, that is very uh, very custom and warrants a different uh, behavior so let's just go ahead and add few uh, few, few properties so I'm gonna so we, we will work with the piping component class and uh, maybe add say paint code and we can select this property for our paint code we can keep the method as key in so the user can actually and for key in we can leave the argument as input method argument as blank and for a group name we can call it a new group name called user defined just to show you how, how it behaves uh, let's add another property and this time we can add material for this we can add use uh, input method as uh, maybe values and for values we can add an input method in arguments say as stainless steel carbon steel most likely the material property will be coming from your spec so uh, this is not a realistic entry here but just to demonstrate how the uh, property uh, can be defined we are just adding some uh, dummy values and for this we also add a group box as user defined We'll hit the save button, close this dialog, and we'll restart Open Plant Modeler. So, with our model open now, here let's zoom. So, as you can see, 
automatically a new section has been added in standard preferences called user defined with the values paint code when I click on paint code uh, it's just a text box with keen I can add any value here say ABC and in the material section I have all the values that I listed as comma separated values in the uh, input arguments and uh, now when I place any component So I'll just place a pipe in, in space here. And we will look at the uh, properties of this pipe. Let me bring the property dialog here. So selecting this pipe, you can see that I have paint code set as ABC. And the other property material is set as PVC. So this way any entries that we do here um, will be applied to all the components that we uh, place. When I change the tab to equipment we still see the old uh, equipment standard preferences. Note that nothing has been changed here but our changes are only done for piping component as uh, we added those two new properties only for the piping component class. If we wanted to add the same uh, values in the other task panes, we could associate uh, equipment or add the same, do the same additions uh, by selecting the equipment class in Open Plan Project Administrator. To get more real states in your modeling window, you can always minimize the standard preferences dialog and pin it to the side. So in today's tech tip, we went over how you can add uh, extra properties, uh, another criteria in the standard preferences dialog and what are the different input methods uh, in which you can specify the values that you want to display in these uh, standard preferences uh, dialog entries as well as how they are utilized in OpenPan Modeler. I hope uh, this was helpful. Uh, thank you.